Dome Sports Talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, let me tell you something. We got some Janati Golovka news, middleweight news, right? But I know people probably, you know, coming in wondering about, you know, Canelo was going to fight Kovalev, right, on the weekend. I'm not hyped about that. That fight shouldn't be happening. It's a sham, a fraud in all kind of ways. Canelo could have fought for undisputed in the middleweight division. He did not have to go up two weight divisions to fight Kovalev, who is not the best at light heavyweight. And they're lying about it being a four-division champ if he beats Kovalev. Three-division. WBA regular does not count. Rocky Fielding doesn't count. But they won't say it. That combined with the fact that they won't talk about undisputed with Demetrius Andre that could have been on, on September 14th. It's, it's ridiculous. Avoiding talking about it and we're supposed to herald this fight as something. Can't get into it. Hey, the guys made weight. Kovalev, from what I read, you know, needed a couple of times to make weight. Whatever, man. The dude just fought anyway uh, after the yard. Was about to chill until he found out about this fight because Kovalev waiting. He thought Kovalev was going to be undisputed too. Now that he knows that Kovalev's scared to fight Andre, he's probably motivated. So go Kovalev. And it's funny because I ain't went for Kovalev for nothing. You guys know how I am about domestic violence. Y'all know about the book. Let me throw it up here. You know, this is a domestic violence book. You know what I'm saying? Slapped. Go get it. Doma at Amazon. Right? So you know I ain't down with Kovalev. He got all kind of issues. He's messing around with ladies, you know, on the airplane, you know, hiding in bushes. Ridiculous stuff he's doing with ladies. Right? And he vanished Martha Rosen, too. A couple of boxers got the, you know, domestic violence and, and kind of, you know, sexual assault issues. Not to mention, you know, uh, the, the, the real fool here. What's his name? Um, Oscar De La Hoya and them. Speaking of Canelo, he got issues as we speak. Messing around. Trying to fist a lady that don't want to be fisted. You know, some ladies want to be fisted. They'll tell you. You, you know, you don't be doing that because you're drunk. He's got issues. Right? All that stuff right, let you know I ain't trying to go for Sir Guy Kovalev. But I was just, you know, to myself, I'm like, damn, you know, I'm kind of going for Kovalev. Because Canelo got to get the hell out of here. Right? Because he's making boxing like so obviously corrupt, like Trump is, like obviously corrupt, but he has followers that's just diehard followers. Trump's followers are just racist, extremely racist people, right? Kovale, uh, Canelo was just, we're down with our boy. It doesn't matter that he was doped twice with Tim Ruderol. It doesn't matter about, you know, him not uh, catch weights at 155, making his own weights, and, you know, they gave him a franchise champion, because franchise champion means when the mandatory is hard, we got something for you. You and Lomachenko don't have to fight hard mandatories anymore. So, in enters Gennady Golovkin. Gennady Golovkin is assigned, um, agreed at least, to fight Camille Zamoretta. Like we said, Camille Zamoretta, 21 and 0 with five KOs. He just got one on the undercard of uh, Gennady Golovkin's fight. Five KOs. So Golovkin is going to be in the heat. He's going to be able to walk somebody down. That's why he wouldn't fight Charlo. That's why he ain't fight Andre or nobody else. Because he can walk this dude down. Right? They begged the IBF to make Camille Samaretta the mandatory. Because it's not even due yet. He can go fight someone else. It's not due. But he's going to get rid of this mandatory. Because it's an easy one. Right? And he can look good walking somebody down like he was doing them lighter dot guys. Then when he starts stepping up that competition, Jacobs didn't readdress that fight. And then the Dario Chinko fight. When he's in Madison Square Garden, some people had him losing that Darian Chico fight. I didn't. I think he slightly beat Darian Chico in a great fight, right? I'm not going to just be hating on Golovkin. I think Golovkin beat Canelo in the first fight, definitely, with no controversy at all, but he got a draw. The second fight, Canelo stood in front of him, but I still think that Gennady Golovkin, as a, as a champion, should have got a draw in that fight, too. I'm not saying that everybody's beating him, but he won't fight him no more. Gennady Golovkin has become officially a joke. It just makes no sense. And I don't think anybody, uh, I think what's going to happen to his next fight, because he was booed in that fight with uh, Darian Chinko, and he won't give him a rematch, just like the close fight against Jacobs, won't readdress it because you guys don't force him to readdress it. Like you, like brothers, 
close fights. You ever seen a brother get a close fight and nobody want him to fight, fight right away? <laughs> if your brother gets a close fight, he got to fight right away. Okay? If the other dude's a non-brother. Right away. Because it's going to be some kind of outrage. Right? Ain't nobody care. You know, ain't nobody care. But I guarantee you this. I ain't going to guarantee you. But I think, this is my opinion, it's going to probably be a ghost town with GGG versus Samaretta. If he fights Samaretta, it's supposed to be in February and March, it's going to be a ghost town. The people that booed at that last fight, right, would like to have him rematch that dude, you know, because it wasn't, it, dude is not a brother either from Ukraine, bring the pain, Darian Chinko. So, you know, they they would want him to fight him again. They, him not fighting somebody and falling in love with somebody who's 21 and old, but with five KOs, it's not really the mandatory yet, right? And we, he's got to fight him when you still have Charlo and Andre in the division, right? That's going to be it. Watch what I tell you. So when I read that news, I was just like, you know what I'm saying? See, that's what I told you anyway. Got the wrong hat on. Y'all know because, you know, listen, let's be honest. I should have had to told you hat on all the damn time, to be honest. Right, because I done told you these things. We we told you, we told you with Sergey Kovalev and Canelo, we didn't we? Hell no, to Kovalev Canelo. Right? Hell no to Andre Charlo, because that's who they want you to fight. And these guys ignore them, everybody, and then to let uh, Charlo and Andre uh, uh, cancel themselves out. No, don't even do it, brothers. Don't even try to get no beef. I did a video about that too. No beef between those two. Y'all wait till one of these. You fight Canelo or GGGT. Or unless they leave the division or something. But anyway, the biggest news is GGG is going to fight Zamoretta in February or March. And that's a joke. Don't sports talk. Worldwide. I'm out of here, y'all.